Hi! Welcome to Nellyville! If this is your first time here, let's just get business out of the way. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I know you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Wee! So what are we doing today? We're just going to take a little ride. I have a couple of things that I need to take care of and I just thought, let's catch up. We haven't talked for a while. What's going on? What's new with you? Leave me a comment in the section down below. I'm sure you guys don't live under rocks and even if you do, I'm pretty sure you're very well aware of the, the very interesting current events that are going on, mostly including the Black Lives Matter movement. What are some of your all's thoughts on the Black Lives Matter movement? I think it's very different. I'm seeing a lot of different opinions, but when I say it feels different, I feel like there actually is change a brewing. We've had similar situations like this before where tragic events happen in the black community or minority community and you get a little bit of media circulation you get some noise on the socials and then it, it just it kind of always seems to just tether off this time i feel like i like to see that it is lingering a little longer I like to see that it, it wasn't just a two cycle news event. I like that there's mass media coverage. There's a lot, you know, there's a lot trending and happening on the Twitter and on the Instagram. -y. And even though it's more, more noise than normally, I still feel like now it's starting to die down. The momentum is slowing down. It's still a lot higher. It has lasted a lot longer than some other events that we've seen in the past. I hope that it's just a dip and I hope that we can get it back up there. There's a lot more ways that you can help in today's day and age. Even just, I see a lot of people sharing petitions and donating and being very vocal online and using their platforms. And that's great and some people might say, well that's not enough. It's enough if that's all that you can do. Now, if you can do more, do more. But don't say that it's not enough because even if you're just retweeting viable information, somebody else who can do more may see it. But they won't see it if you guys aren't retweeting, if you're not sharing. And speaking of retweeting and sharing and using social media platforms, pay attention to who you're following and what they're saying online. If you're following and watching YouTubers, influencers, celebrities who have only tweeted out one thing or just a couple of petitions and they only did it for one or two days and that was it and they kind of went back to business as usual. Pay attention to that, especially influencers. That's their job is to influence and especially on large topics like this. Initially, when George Floyd passed, we won't get into details about that because we should all know all the details of that at this point. And if you don't, I'm I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you. Go get you a newspaper, go go do, do some Googling and, and uh, uh, figure it out. That's the first problem if you don't know everything concerning that. I digress. When that initially happened, it was very shocking, as it always is. Are we desensitized to it to a degree? Yes, but it was shocking. And I say that to say there were a lot of influencers and celebrities who were quiet when we thought that they should have been speaking out. And so the first couple of days, one could look at it and say, you know what? They apologize for not speaking out sooner. I can accept that because maybe they really did actually have to get their thoughts together. But after, you know, after a couple days and you get your thoughts and you still haven't said anything about it, or you've only made one generic tweet and you never made videos or Insta stories or Snap stories to really articulate the way you feel and have a movement of a call to action and use your platform. I'm looking at you sideways. Do not support these people. Do not continue to watch them and engage with them because that's your job is to, as an influencer. 
celebrity and YouTuber as well to have an opinion on the issues that matter. My issue comes in with, like I said, not using your platform to reach your millions and thousands of followers and subscribers. That's a problem with me. This was not just a little two cycle news circulation. Obviously it's not realistic to expect for influencers and celebrities to address every current event that happens because when they have their own personal lives, they are not journalists. But certain things, especially when they're this big, when they're worldwide, you have people all over the world participating in these protests and, and fighting for change over here in America when them themselves are going through things in their own other country. And you're gonna sit here and tell me that you can't use your platform to tell these kids what to do, to tell people how they can help. Not with something like this. Some things you can look past, this isn't something I can look past. So I'm just saying, I'm looking at people who have large platforms or smaller platforms and who are not using them. I've heard something very interesting. Now, I haven't seen it with anyone that I follow, but there is a cluster of particularly influencers, YouTubers, and, and some celebrities too. I separate them for reasons and maybe I'll explain later, but my main focus here is influencers and YouTubers. And sometimes, and YouTubers are considered influencers, but then there's influencers who are just strictly influencers, right? If you don't know the difference, look it up. There are YouTubers and influencers who are using the excuse of, I don't want to lose sponsorships. I don't want to lose endorsements. I don't want to lose brand deals. So I am choosing not to be vocal about the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm choosing not to be vocal about George Floyd and anyone else who has been a victim of police brutality white supremacy in this country. Okay, look, here's the thing. I understand very well that as an influencer, you do have to pick and choose very wisely what you say, what you stand by. You have to uphold a certain image. It is a part, it is a part of the business. It is a part of business. Absolutely, 100%. It's a part of business. But if this is not one of those things, if this is not one of those times that you can look at it and say, oh, okay, yeah, let me speak up for that. Let me get on board with this. Let me exercise my platform. If you are afraid that the company that you are doing brand deals with, that you are being sponsored by, is going to drop you because you speak out on equality, Especially if you are a black person, a, a POC, a minority of any kind, and you're saying, I don't want to speak up for minorities because I don't want to lose the bag. Something's wrong with that. Because either your priorities are way out of line, and I'm like, and look, I know everybody's got to eat. Everybody's got to keep the lights on. Mortgages and rent have to be paid. I get that. That is a very scary thing to know that somebody could just snatch your bag away. But at what cost? At, at what cost is the bag more important? If you're a believer, you got to know if that company takes that bag away, you got to know God's going to bring you another bag somewhere else, right? So either your priorities and your morals are out of line for standing by the company rather than standing by the people that support you for real, for real, because if you didn't have the followers, you wouldn't have that brand deal. So let, let's keep it a hundred up in here. The other half of that is you're, they're just full of Excuse my French here. Some of these influencers and YouTubers don't get the movement. They don't care about equality. And they're hiding behind the fact why I can't say anything. You are not a Disney Channel child star who's being controlled and told what to tweet, say, and do. You are not minors. Some of you people are in your 20s and 30s and you're talking about, I, I can't, I don't want to be, no, shut up, shut up. You, you're not being vocal because you don't want to be. And if you are affiliated with companies that would cut you off like that, why would you want to be affiliated with them? Because if they're that grimy, that they're themselves, that the companies themselves are not behind the movement, why would you want to be for them? What makes you think that they're not going to one day not be behind you? Especially if you're a minority. Are you kidding me? I've never seen so many CEOs and business owners do things in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Most of these companies, 
have issued out mass emails. They've made public statements. They have shut down their websites for periods of times. Hell, even Nickelodeon went off the air for eight minutes and 46 seconds. So you're gonna tell me that some little rinky-dink uh, Instagram boutique is gonna snatch your bag? And I'm not making fun of Instagram boutique clothing line. I'm just saying that's on a smaller scale than say somebody like Apple who is standing by Black Lives Matter. So I'm trying to figure out who are you working for that's not behind this because nobody wants to be on the bad side of it. So you're full of it, right? If you stand for nothing, you will fall for anything. I'm branding. And we can go on and on about this, but you know, just the main point of it is be careful of who you support and who you give business to and make sure they really are for you. And just because they look like you don't mean that they're for you. Some people are selfish, some people still don't care. And if you are some of these influencers or YouTubers who are maybe not exercising your platform, it's never too late. Start using it. Some of you may feel like, oh dang, well I haven't said anything so long. If I say something now, it's just gonna, it doesn't matter what it looks like at this point. It is very, very different. Come on and make a video and say, you know what guys, I know I didn't say enough, I didn't do enough, but I'm saying that I'm doing something now. Here's what I want my followers to do. Go ahead and do it. You're gonna have people mad at you regardless anyway over something. You don't wanna be that person who has to, in the future, explain to your kids that you were on the wrong side of history. I found recently there's not a lot of resources and literature out there about Black Lives Matter, the movement, and the events that led up to it. Let's get the information together in other languages so we can be even stronger. I didn't want to get all serious and juicy today, but you know, it just needed to be said. We are gonna keep talking about this. Thank you guys for taking this little drive with me. If you agree with me or if you disagree with me, please let's talk it out in the comment section below come find me on all of my social media and i would love to hear what you think if you haven't already done so go ahead and click the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the post notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a brand new video Come back Sunday for the continued cleaning series. It will be the last and final episode of the cleaning series. And come join me every Wednesday for uh, other random content. Normally we do goofy stuff on this channel, but sometimes, you know, you gotta get a little real. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the rest of your day, night, morning, or whenever it is that you are watching this. Power to the people. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh shoot, somebody jamming. Mm -hmm. At the highway, make the money the flyway. Well, it's got to be a better way. Better way, better way.